Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has released the early stable of our next version upgrade, version 138, to a limited subset of users, like they always do about a week or so before the next version upgrade will roll out to the general public. And the early stable, which is now sitting on version 138.0.7204.35, that will be our next version in build upgrade, rolls out to a limited subset of users. So most, including myself, will not have received it. As you can see, I'm still on version 137. Now, because the early stable rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 18th of June, if we head to the calendar, I would suggest that either next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, we will see version 138 becoming generally available and rolling out to the general public and that rollout then would have been completed next week. Now just to go through more or less what to expect if you are using Chrome what could possibly roll out with 138 next week because obviously I haven't received 138 yet but according to the Chrome platform status there is a bit of info they've given and obviously what I'm seeing in the browsers and in, in preview as I've been posting on the channel. And obviously the list is subject to change. Now as always, we will get our security fixes rolling out next week. I think that's a given. And then if you are using enhanced safe browsing, there is a bit of a sync improvement and change that's rolling out for enhanced safe browsing. So if we head to privacy and security, click on security. And just on a side note, I always suggest turning on enhanced protection or enhanced safe browsing in Google Chrome. Standard is your um, default, but I always suggest turning on enhanced. It just gives you a lot better protection. The first improvement is if you use Chrome's enhanced safe browse, it will now automatically sync across all your devices when you're signed in, which means at the end of the day, as I've mentioned, better protection against dangerous websites and downloads. And that no matter what device you're using. So if you are using Chrome on your Android, it'll sync and enable that setting on your Android. And I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction. And there will also be new AI powered features to help identify and prevent online scams. And I have posted on that previously. So enhanced protection is getting quite a nice improvement with version 138. Now the next feature is regarding Gemini integration. As we've been talking about on the channel, its placeholder name was Glick, G-L-R-C. And I've posted a whole lot of content on this and I'll leave a video on Gemini Live AI is coming to Chrome, but not for everyone. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you would be interested, if you'd like some more info. But for some users, and this is going to be region specific. I think it's starting in the United States and you've got to be subscribed to Gemini AR, uh, the pro subscription and so on. But for some users, Google's AR Gemini will be now integrated directly into Chrome on desktop. That will be for Mac OS and Windows, which will let you ask questions about the page you're on, get summaries or clarify concepts without leaving the actual tab and the page you are currently browsing. Check the video out for more info and just do a search for Glick, G-L-R-C, on the channel if you'd like some more information. But that's going to be a controlled rollout, not rolling out to everyone. And then if you are using web apps, Chrome is making it easier for web links to open directly in installed web apps, which at the end of the day should make your installed web apps feel more like regular apps on your computer. So I think if you are opening up a lot of links, that would be a nice move in the right direction. And then there is a bit of an improvement and a change coming for extensions. If an extension changes your new tab page, you will now see a small message in the footer of the page that tells you which extension is responsible. I also think that's a step in the right direction. And while we are talking about extensions, I think now, because I did mention earlier this year with the deprecation of MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin, where Google is moving on to MV3, I think 
when this next update rolls out, version 138, there's a very good chance that MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin will not work anymore in Google Chrome. And I did say a couple of months ago, by the end of June, I think that deprecation would have completed. So just look out for that when you update into 138. You could find that your MV2 extensions will not work or could be even removed. So just a heads up with that. And then if we head back to the new tab page, if you haven't received the cards, continue with these tabs as I have been talking about. Cards, continue with these tabs. Then I think you should start seeing more of this rolling out because this has been rolling out gradually after the release of version 137. So that's also something out to look out for. And the good news is you can turn the feature off if you don't want to use it. I'm just leaving it on for the purpose of this channel. And then we may, and I say may very carefully, we may start seeing signs of the new split screen, as I've been posting about on the channel, that Google has been testing in preview. And they've put quite a bit of work into this, very similar to what you get in Edge. I've posted a lot of content on the split screen. Just do a search accordingly if you want more info. And there might be a slight little chance that we might start seeing some traces of the split screen, although I cannot confirm that. But this is quite stable now in preview and is working quite well. So we could start seeing the first traces of split screen coming to the stable. And then over and above that, guys, Google could surprise us with one or two tweaks and adjustments that you know, are not really in any release notes. Sometimes they might push out a little change when it comes to the UI and so on, but obviously that we all have to wait and see. But that's more or less, guys, subject to change. Just my thoughts on what we may see coming with version 138, and that's after Google has rolled out the early stable yesterday on the 18th. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.